Hello, welcome to Senora Tommy's Biblioteca. Today we are going to do a craft uh, that I think would be super fun and will kind of align with the book that we read yesterday called, called Memoirs of a Goldfish. So we're going to do a little craft that um, will look like a fishbowl when we are done. And I have chosen things from around my house that we can use for our craft. So the whole point, right, of sheltering in place and staying safe at home is that we do not go out unless we have uh, essential things that we need to get, right? Like groceries and medicine, things like that are essential. So I went around my house and I looked for things that I could do to create my craft. And I'll show you all the different things that I chose. And then I'll show you the end product of our craft. So remember yesterday's book, Memoirs of a Goldfish. Our little goldfish was in his bowl. And so our craft for today is this little goldfish bowl that I made with stuff around the house. So <clears throat> let me show you what I found in my house and then we'll kind of work through it and you can see how I did mine. So <clears throat> I found paper plates, right? So you just need paper for your, your uh, fish bowl. So if you don't have paper plates, you could always just use paper. And then I found some colored pencils because I don't have any crayons in my house, which I thought was kind of weird. But then I thought about it and I realized I probably took all my crayons to the library. I bet you it, they're in the library. So I have uh, colored pencils. I found some paint that I had and I found uh, a little paintbrush that I used too, and my kids' goldfish crackers because I, I hate goldfish crackers. I don't like them. So goldfish crackers, and I found some Fruit Loops, uh, Fruit Loops cereal in my house, uh, glue, some leaves outside, leaves just from outside, just outside, and I have these like little sticks that fall off my tree out in the front. And then I also found a little Lego character that we can use in our fish bowl. You know how a lot of times, like if we turn our book around, especially remember the little character from yesterday, his name was Mr. Bubbles. And so I thought it would be fun to add a little character to our bowl so that it kind of looked like a Mr. Bubbles too. So, <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to use quick safety tip. I'm going to use uh, a hot glue gun and uh, a pair of scissors that are on the other side of the table that I put over there and maybe someone would be kind enough to pick up my scissors that I put on the other side of the table. Oh, look it. They're going to magically show up in the video. Watch this. Okay. So. Um, so important safety tip. I'm going to use a hot glue gun because I want to do this all in one video to show you, but you probably should not be using a hot glue gun at home. You should be using this kind of glue or paste or a glue stick. Okay. So I'm using this one because I want to be able to create it all in front of you. And if I used this one, I'd probably have to glue something and then like let it sit for a little bit and then glue some more and let it sit for a little bit. And so by the magic of YouTube, <laughs> or I'm sure there's another way to do this, but um, I'm just gonna use a hot glue gun. So please, 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 please use a different kind of glue unless mom, dad, whoever you are with is okay with you using the hot glue. And um, here are my grown up scissors, okay? But you can always use kid scissors so that they're smaller, a little bit more safer. Okay, safety tips out of the way. We did supplies, we did safety tip. I think we're good. Okay, we're gonna start. <clears throat> so. First things first on our fish tank is we want to paint the background. Uh-oh, Mr. Bubbles, you lost your stick. Okay, so we want to paint the background uh, for our fish tank. With uh, my stuff at home, because I didn't have crayons, I decided to use this colored paint that I just had, and I just put it on with a little sponge brush. And so this is what, by the magic, look at the magic. Here's the background. Okay, only because I painted it, I let it dry for a little bit, and uh, so now I can show it to you. So, what you'll want to do is paint your circle of the inside of your paper plate, and then that'll be the backdrop of our 
fish bowl. Okay, so once that is dry or colored, however you guys choose to do that, you want to cut off the top so that it looks like the top of this and we have the top part of our fish bowl. So here I am cutting. There's the top, voila, the top part of our fish bowl. And then we are gonna start to glue some of the fun stuff that we collected in our house to the plate. So I am going to just quickly do this as fast as I can so that I don't bore you too much because I can't imagine me gluing on Fruit Loops is real exciting for you. So we're going to glue on, and you can use like rocks here if you want. I found some little pebbles outside that I thought would look good too. I also found some Cheerios that would look good as well if you wanted to use that for your bottom. Again, I am using hot glue. You can see how hot it is. So you definitely want to ask for permission or ask for help if you are gonna be using hot glue. If not, the white Elmer's glue that we usually use at school would be fine too. Um, this is just in the matter of time so that we can do it in a few minutes and you don't spend 20 minutes uh, waiting uh, for the glue to dry with me. So here we go. Okay, so we have some Cheerios on there and that is the bottom of our fish tank right there. And then <clears throat> I found these very cool leaves and just like in the book, uh, there's like those, uh, the first thing that showed up in his book, actually I think, was a plant, right? So he swam around in his bowl. Day, oh no, day, the first thing that showed up was Mr. Bubbles. Okay, so let's look in day, Oh, it wasn't until day six, but look at, he has like plants and stuff in his um, fish bowl. So the leaves outside that were easy to collect kind of inspired me to do some plants in our fish bowl. So I'm just gonna make a fun little plant right here out of these leaves that I found in my front yard. The other day when I read outside, I was in my front yard too. So, okay, so here are little leaves that we have for some green in our fish bowl. Here we go. What else could you use maybe if you didn't have leaves? You could probably use some paper or hmm, what else works as a leaf? Maybe if you have felt or fabric, those things could all work too. Okay, so here's my little, uh, this is what I have so far. I have my rocks on the bottom and I have my leaf right there. And then now we're gonna add some fish because, well, what's a fish bowl without fish? And so I found goldfish in our kitchen and I'm gonna use a couple here to have some fish in our fish tank. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay, there's no red fish, but maybe if you had colored fishies, I think some fish, fish crackers come in colors. All right, <clears throat> so here's our little fishies. Maybe I'll put one more. That part up there looks a little empty. Maybe that guy's swimming down. Yeah, let's swim him down. Okay, so here's a little fish. Gold fish crackers, not bad. And I'm going to use this Lego Star Wars piece that I found in our Legos. See, I'm the mommy here in my house, so I can go and just get a Lego, like little guy, and put it in here. But you may wanna ask first, right, if you're getting a Lego from your house, whether or not you can do this. I get to make this decision in my house, so here we go. I'm gonna put my little Lego man in here and he's gonna act like my Mr. Bubbles because Mr. Bubbles was the first guy that showed up in 
memoirs of a goldfish. So we're gonna put him in here. Stick him in. I also really like Star Wars. Remember a couple years ago, the library was Star Wars. So that is one of my favorite movies. I just got Disney Plus too. So I got to see The Mandalorian, which was really cool because I didn't have Disney Plus, but now I do and I got to see it. And oh my God, baby Yoda is so cute. He's so cute. Okay, so here is <laughs> this part of my, um, of my craft that I just did with you. So what am I missing? I am missing a bottom, aha. So here is where this little piece that we cut off is going to come in handy. We can just take this piece and glue it right here on the bottom. And then now it looks like our fish uh, bowl is on a stand. So here we go. I'm gonna do this real quick so that we can see a completed project while you are with me. There we go. Put this on, give it a good hold. Again, I highly recommend that you use Elmer's glue. This is already kind of hot on my fingers. And I have old fingers that are used to hot things. <laughs> So, you know, I like to kid about how old I am all the time. Okay, so here we go. Last thing that broke off on my first one was these twigs that I thought they were kind of cool. And look at this one shaped a little bit like a, I don't know, it reminded me of like the little, what do they call? I guess the piping or the, the tubing that Mr. Bubbles uses in his, in the fish tank, right, to make a, the bubbles that he has and so I just the curve of this stick reminded me of that and so I'm going to take it and just hot glue it to his helmet so it looks like he is breathing using this stick because maybe actual tubing would be good but I don't know that I have actual tubing what I have is a stick <laughs> so we're gonna use this stick and I'm gonna give it a hold here at the beginning of the video my little Yeti guy had a stick too but I accidentally broke him off so let's see if this guy will hold on to his stick we are almost done this is so cool so here we go all right we have our goldfish craft, which is super fun, ties in perfect with our memoirs of a goldfish book that we read yesterday. And so now I have two of these. I have the one that I wanted to show you for my example and then the one I just made with you. Um, this is always something I've kind of wanted to do with you guys in the library. Um, I've always wanted to read books and then create some sort of craft project with you, uh, something that we can do hands-on together that's creative. Um, we are always so pressed for time though. And so I think this is a fun way to do this with you now. Um, and so I think moving forward every Wednesday, we will do some sort of craft that will tie in with the book that we read the day before. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I really think it's something that you can do at home. Again, I found everything um, here in our house. Um, if you do it, post your pictures for me. That would be great. I'd love to see it. And, oh, I'm supposed to tell you this because my kids tell me I'm supposed to say this. Subscribe <laughs> to my YouTube channel um, so that you will get notifications when I post a new video. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.